Uh, hi, so this is going to be a quick walkthrough for the Merry Blacksmith. Uh, it's got lots of other different names as well, like, for example, the Boys of the Loch or Paddy on the Railway. Lots of other things called Paddy on the Railway, Paddy on the Turnpike, which are different to this. Um, so this is, is um, yeah, D Merry Blacksmith seems to be the, the most common name for this. It's in two parts and normally it's played A, A, B, B. I'm just going to play the A part and then the B part. It's in standard G tuning, so that's G, D, G, B, D, standard G tuning. It's often played in D, well, sometimes in A. To play it in A, put a capo on the second fret here. Uh, to play in D in this tuning is harder, but you can capo on the seventh fret and see how that works out. Uh, I don't think I'd have quite enough of the higher frets on here to make that work, so I, I, that's why I'm not doing that. And it is just easier in this tuning uh, than it is in, um, say, double C with a capo on second, which would give you uh, uh, an ability to play in D. Anyway, starts on the fifth fret, the first string. So that's a long note there. feel of that long note. You can see the tab if you want to see how that's written down. So, long note, pull off, and then and then so I hammer on to the second and pull off. It's just like a little triplet. open second and hammer on at the third. So then slide up from the third on the second string to the fifth fret, and then the fifth fret on the first again, and that same um, finish to that phrase. And then, so you're on the third fret of the second string, so that's slide from the third to the fifth on the second string, and then slide from the fifth to the seventh on the first string, and then from the seventh to the ninth, and then a fifth string. So that phrase again is, Again. And then you're going on to the ninth fret, the third string. So that's ninth fret of the third string, tenth fret of the second string, second string, then fifth string, and then the ninth, no, tenth fret of the second string again. And then tenth fret to the ninth fret, to the seventh fret on the first string. And that finishes the first half of the A part, and then it goes. Same again, this time you go. So you slide up to the uh, ninth. It's the fifth and the fifth um, on the first and second. And then open first string. And then it's fifth fret on the third string. Then I drop them. And then you 
pull off to the fourth fret and then pull off to open on the third string. So that's the, all of the A part. So. So that's the hammer on and pull off first fret on the second string and then go to the second fret of the third string. So that's twice open on the third string and then a drop thumb to the open fourth string. second and that's for a quarter note and for a longer note on the open second so then I do a, a strum and hammer on with almost all of an A minor chord in, in this tuning which is second fret on the fourth second fret on the third first fret on the uh, second string It's a, it's not a bum ditty, it's a bum, it's a beat tea. And then, which is first fret on the second string, pull off and then second fret on the third string hammer on hard. And then it goes up to the first string again and it's this time it says a little hammer on at second fret and the pull off. is on the first string open hammer on second pull off and then the first fret on the second and then on the second string open hammer on first fret drop them to the second on the third string second fret on the third string and that's that same phrase again from before in the B part so twice open on the third string, drop thumb to the open fourth, and then this time it gives a little run up, and this then instead of um, going to the open second string, slide up to the uh, fourth fret of the third string, and then pull off. Pull off from the fourth fret, and then open first string hammer on fourth fret, and then the fifth fret, and then the fifth fret. Now, what I tend to do is put one finger over both, and it's normally my third ring finger. So it's the first string, and then it drops them to the second string on the fifth fret as well, and pull off the second string. To the third fret, so it's and then hammer on. 
on third fret, third string, fifth fret, or you can strike it. I often find myself practicing a little phrase like that on its own and then fitting things together and so so the whole of the A part tune of the week for the 31st of May 2024 my choice so I uh, hope you like it and um, yeah thanks very much <laughs>